Hey y'all, welcome to Virgo Bright Tarot. Oh, Virgo all the time. I know y'all are getting this reading super late. I apologize, I'm still moving. This is going to be ongoing for at least a month for you guys. So I just really, really appreciate your patience. Um, excuse the ugly blue curtains that the last owner left up. And you know what? I haven't brought mine over yet. So I said, you know what? I will leave those picnic table curtains up for a spell and <laughs> we will deal with them. I'm, I'm kind of thankful he left some curtains up to be honest with you. So so I'm not going to complain. I'm going to turn it into a positive and be thankful and grateful and give an attitude of gratitude. All right. So I got a request for another third party reading oh my goodness y'all like that don't you now i don't have all my cards with me over here but i will do the best i can with the ones that i have we will try to pull as much energy as we can all right so we're going to get into it god's spirit we're asking about the person that put the person on virgo's mind that put virgo into a third party situation okay made virgo an option all right or tried to make Virgo an option. Let me put it that way, honey, because <laughs> we know, right? All right, let's see. I left a question off of here, but I, I, if I remember, I'll ask. Okay, so what is the current energy between the person on Virgo's mind and the other woman or other man that they chose? Or that they are currently dealing with. Because some of you are actively in a third party situation. Okay. I'm not trying to shame nobody. But I'm just saying that that's the case. Okay. Alright. Let's see. What is the energy between Virgo's person. Or the person on Virgo's mind. And the other man or woman. What is the current energy between them. Confirm. Hmm. What is that all about. Huh. Let's see. Let's see. Let me get this camera. Bike. Back. All right, concern. Hmm. Where are my cards at? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what we can get here. Concern. Why is concern the current energy between those two? Okay, we have the nine of swords. A lot of stress. It's a stressful situation. Huh. Hmm. Clarify the nine of swords. Okay. We have the eight of cups. And we have the three of swords. Interesting. Ah. Could the third party situation resulted in a third party situation? Is somebody walking away from that? The five of swords is at the bottom of the deck. They're not having a good time. I see game playing and pettiness. Yeah, they're not having the, they're not having a great time, y'all. The third party and this person. Mm hmm What is so so what does the concern mean for Virgo's person? What does the concern mean? Why are they concerned? Four cups. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at your person, Virgo, but it's certainly possible that your person is being rejected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, such such karma. I'm just saying, you know, some of the four cups. Yeah, the nine of cups. So they made a romantic offer. Or they made an offer to someone who maybe now have them in a, may now have them in a third party situation. I'm sorry for the camera angle. Let's see. Tell me about the Knight of Cups, please. We've got the Ace of Cups. We've got the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> this person made an offer to someone and now they're being juggled. They're being juggled. And they're concerned. Okay. That, that's, that's really, really clear energy there. Um, interesting how these things happen. Hmm? Interesting how these things happen. Okay. 
Alright, we're not gonna dwell too much on them. We don't care about what's going on with them. Um now your person is concerned. And I I feel like like it's more than just like they're concerned. It has them really thinking like, why am I going through this? If they're not going through it yet, perhaps they will be going through it. Um Okay. What is the what is the current what is the current energy towards you from the person on your mind? What are they currently feeling toward you? Toward Virgo? The person that put Virgo in a third party, what are they currently feeling toward Virgo? Okay. We have the Nine of Wands, we have the Queen of Wands. Telling you, y'all, y'all be going up, getting sexier. Boy, I'm trying to tell you that you become more attractive sometimes after these things. This person's feeling we have the Seven of Wands. So we see two cards of defensiveness. Um, they could feel that you have your guard up against them. But the Queen of Wands is very confident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is person with you in a third party and then your confidence could have skyrocketed, okay? Let's clarify the nine of wands. Got the seven of cups. This person sees you with options. Yes. They see you with lots of options. And they want to be one of them. Look at the king of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Tell me about this queen of wands. You're looking very attractive. You're looking really, really good. This person could be emotionally confused as well because they thought they were doing the right thing. We got the Seven of Coins and the Knight of Swords. This person could feel angry or have erratic thoughts, especially if they were waiting for you and you never showed back up, if you didn't chase them. Okay, if you're dealing with an air sign as well, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be also really investing in yourself, okay? Or some investments for you could be paying off and they could see that. It may be pissing them off to see you doing so well. Mm-hmm. Yep. It has some reminiscence. Six of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. He used to look at me like that. He used to hold me like that. She used to look at me like, you know, she used to be talking to me and then cooking dinner for me like she's doing for that guy. You know, whatever. All right, tell me about the Seven of Wands energy. Five of Coins. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold, baby. They feel like it's freezing. Okay. Five of Coins. Yeah, the hangman is here. So, you know what? They're getting a different. They're getting a different perspective. They're getting a maybe a taste of their own medicine. Pisces energy here with the hangman. Some people say it's Virgo. And this person sees you moving on. Six of Swords. If you're not really moving on, they may just think that about you. They may just think that you're moving on, Virgo, even if you're, you're really not. Okay? So, that's good. That's good that they're having those thoughts. Now, remember time is fluid. Some could have, some of this could have already happened. It could be happening now. It could happen in the next few weeks to months. Okay? I've seen readings that resonate for me a year out. So, just you know, keep that in mind. Alright, so the one question I did not ask that I'm going to add is what regrets does this person have when it comes to you? What is this person regret? How does this, does this person regret anything about the way they treated Virgo? And if they do, what? Does the person that put Virgo in a third party have regrets about the way they treated Virgo? And if so, what are they? What are those regrets? Okay. So we have the Knight of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, the Three of Swords. They, re they regret the third party. They regret walking away. Wow. That's crazy. It's, it's like, they're really, it, it's not even a question. They're really going through it. Tell me more about what they regret. They have the Nine of Cups. They definitely went towards something they thought was wish fulfillment. The moon. Mm, hidden emotion could be as well. So, that, so 
you could be wish fulfillment and they could be hiding emotions for you, uh, Virgo. The Ten of Cups. They know exactly where they would have found happiness. I feel like this person really regrets giving up something. They have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck and the Eight of Swords. This person is all up in their head. You live rent free in this person's head. Eight of Swords, King of Wands could be dealing with a um a Pisces, a Cancer, a Leo, Sag, Aries. Give me a little bit more on there. Regrets. Okay, we have the main male. Let's see, and the, there's a mature man at the bottom of the deck. So some of you definitely could have moved on to someone. Okay, tell me what this person regrets with the main male energy. Yeah, two of cups, the page of cups. I feel like this person, the lovers. You now have other choices, and it's their fault. It's their fault because they allow someone else to now be the main male or the main female in your in your life. Yeah. Yep, yeah, two of wands. Choices. Two of wands, the lovers, they are the ones who presented you with choices. And I feel like they regret it. They regret that. Okay? They they allow it now that you have choices. Okay. So. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Okay, what actions are they gonna take? What action is this person going to take for Virgo in the near future? This person that had Virgo in the third party. Now, I know some of you may not want this person, but it doesn't mean they won't take action towards you. Okay? You just, just tell them, no, thank you. No, thank you. I'm not interested anymore. Okay? <laughs> but, you know, bye bye. Alright. What actions will they take for Virgo in the near future? Okay, we have the four cups. Alright, the Four of Cups, it can be rejection, um, but I don't feel like they're rejecting you because this is also the energy of like missing an opportunity. So if you're rejecting them, they may feel some type of way about it. But let, let's see. Four of Cups, let's clarify. But I can take it to a Virgo in the near future. Okay, we have the Magician. Yeah, that's your energy. Virgo, Gemini energy. You may be rejecting this person. Nine of Coins. That's your energy as well. So it's a lot of um, illumination here. The sun is at the bottom of that. What action are they taking for Virgo? Okay, the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this came out earlier for you. This person, even though you might be rejecting them, they're still trying to manifest you. They're, st they're still trying to... Maybe they still think they got it like that. I don't know. Nine of Wands energy... King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is the energy of perseverance, though, that Nine of Wands is still this person, you know, not giving up. We have the Queen of Swords. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, when they come out together, that suggests to me communication. A very straightforward conversation. Okay? This person hopes that conversation with the Four of Swords leads to peace and healing between the two of you. Some sort of truce, maybe. All right, if you guys are like currently fighting about something, we have the Ace of Wands. This person trying to start up a new beginning with you, um, they could, you know, use uh, intimacy to try to kickstart that, okay? Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, so that that way this puts you at a crossroads between this person and anybody else you might be dealing with, Virgo, okay? And the Six of Swords. This is the energy of going from hostility to peace. They want to make peace with you. They want to be the emperor, the divine masculine or feminine. We'll get one more row on their next actions for Virgo. Look at that. Wow. We've got the Two of Cups and the King of Cups. That's why I did one more row because I knew emotions were coming at some point. This may be a person whose love language is more physical. Two of Cups. And we have the Page of Swords. Okay. Page of Swords tells me this person is watching you. But this is also communication. It's research. It's knowledge. Um, this person wants to know what's been going on in your life. They want to know what kind of, you know, 
what, what's, what's going on? What, what, you've been a mystery. Um, or what they've seen, they've seen maybe online or what somebody told them. And they want, they want to know what's been going on. They want you to talk to them. They want to get all in your business. Okay. We have the page of coins at the bottom of the deck and the tower. Okay. So this person might surprise you um, with a message or even a, an apology. Okay. So they might show up very une unexpectedly, my dear Virgo. All right. Let's see who you could be dealing with here. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, Gemini, Virgo energy again. We've had every sign throughout this reading, so. And then you have um, Scorpio and Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus at the bottom of the deck. Alright, so. Let's get some oracles and your advice. Let's see what we got going on here. Mm -mm -mm. So. Um, that person is not, <laughs> they're not doing so great. All right. What would this person say to Virgo if they could not hide it or what will they actually say to Virgo? What will this person say to Virgo or what would they confess to Virgo if they could not hide it? <laughs> that one on the floor. Hold on. Okay. Hmm. Let me get them all out first, y'all. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. Alright. You deserve much more than I could give you at the time. Okay. So maybe that's their excuse for disconnecting. I don't know. Um, I should have listened to my intuition. <laughs> yeah, they clearly made a wrong choice. And I think they knew it at the time, but I don't know. Something something tempted them, I guess. I'm scared you won't accept me now. Yeah, you're on the go up, Virgo. You look different. You smell different. You, you just, you, you're fine. People want you. And, and and they're afraid that they're no longer a contender. Part of me died when I let you go. You know, I feel like this person, they may have been very confident when they went toward that third party and just really thought that was the better choice. They just knew that was the better choice. But as soon as they, they, they did the act of releasing you, they felt something. And, they're, and I feel like this person was like, uh-oh, like, did I, did I do the right thing here? Okay, this is not the way I wanted things to end. I wish I could go back in time. So they're sorry for hurting you, I feel like, Virgo. I'm damaged. I'm not deserving of your love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so hopefully this person doesn't try to come back with a sob story. You know, trying to get you to feel sorry for them. Because it's like, eh, you know, too late. Too little, too late. All right. Messages to Virgo concerning this person that happened in a third party. Let's see. This is for Virgo. Virgo, you have realignment. Shift your perspective for a gained sense of clarity. Yeah, you look. You got the spirit has you looking at this situation like you know what? Uh, rejection was probably my protection. You know, um, this person is now also shifting their perspective, but that's not your problem. <laughs> you know. All right, what else? What else for Virgo? Oh, good. Got two more. We got obsession. Focusing too much on one situation that need the need to take a step back. Okay, that could be you. That could be them. So hopefully you're not obsessing over this. You do have retreat. Okay, this is to go into your natural state of um, of the hermit. Okay, time spent alone, reflection on past and current situations. Okay, and that's all right for you to pull your energy back and focus on yourself. Okay, a couple more. Just a couple more. Oh, I got two more, three more. Okay. Expansion. Pursue bigger and greater endeavors. So Spirit said, on to bigger and better things. Creativity. Have fun. Express yourself in new ways. Yeah, that's that Queen of Swords energy. The Queen, I mean, I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands energy. Queen of Wands is very creative. Okay. Very creative. Divine counterpart. A divine connection sent to you 
from your angels. Know that you have something bigger and better coming in, y'all. Okay? All right. I want to leave it here, my dear Virgos. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, I want y'all to have a wonderful weekend. I will try to do some readings this weekend um, in between moving. If not, I'll see y'all next week. Okay? <laughs> I love you very much. Remember, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I go live. When I upload new content, you also had your bonus today on Bright Light Tarot. So go over there and check that out. Also go to Rumble, Bright Light 444. Cost you nothing. That's where you'll find all your collectives and extendeds when I do them. Okay? All right, Virgo. I love you. Till next time. Bye-bye.